Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Niger Delta will never be married into a union where it will become a minority. I have spent ample time raising reactions from our Igbo brothers and sisters, and most of these reactions were shared on the Niger Delta Indigenous People's platform. Well, whilst I entertain no scintilla of angst for the spurious tales from our Igbo neighbors, it is my duty as an indigenous person of Niger Delta to say a word or two about these concussions. First, the various tribes in the Niger Delta region do not need external support to drive their quest for regional autonomy. Yes, what we in the Niger Delta region need is regional recognition as against discordant tribal agitation. Thus, we do not need any interference, lest such should upset the ample cat. We must learn to speak less of our tribes and channel. Sorry, we must learn to speak less of our tribes and channel our energy towards the reinvigoration of our regional identity, in line with what Jasper Adakaboro fought for. Next, we are not oblivious of the bitter experience of our Igbo neighbors, since we are all in the same mess. However, we in the Niger Delta know that our Igbo neighbors, very noisy ones at that, have what it takes to get whatever they desire from the sovereign state. Therefore, each region should work amongst themselves to come up with a GMOU that will, tab that will be tabled before the sovereign state. For those of us in the Niger Delta region, devolution of power is our real demand, and we are aware that power can only devolve to nationalities when the national when the nation state's stomachs calls for restructuring furthermore our evil neighbors must note that the west are also getting it hot from the nation state yet they have never insulted other tribes through regions our noisy neighbors should borrow a leaf from others one wonders how insults and the quest for freedom are related. If the regions in Nigeria want to work together, they know what to do. But it is the duty of the various regions to organize their numerous tribes to speak as one people. That is the real goal. A disorganized indigenous people lack the needed trust to pursue any goal. Finally, our noisy neighbors should let us do our thing. The first attempt to marry us failed. This renewed attempt cannot see the light of the day. Because we are different people. If there is going to be a consensus, then we must sit and talk about it. What we want is different from what some of our neighbors want. Our neighbors want something else, but we want a devolution of power. Our first goal is to organize ourselves as the tribe or at the tribe level for regional autonomy. Our tribes in Niger Delta must work together. Let it be known that the Niger Delta region will never be married into a union where it will become a minority. Never. Amongst us in the Niger Delta, there will never be majority, minority consensuousness or consciousness. Our various tribes have always worked as a team. No tribe dominates the other. Each tribe in our region is strong enough to resist oppression. That is why we must come together as one people. That is why no external group is permitted to speak for us. We shall just pretend we don't know 
what happened in our land during the civil war between 1967 to 1970. We shall feign ignorance of the real masterminds of the first coup in 1966 and how that poor calculation by the coupists called us all irreparable damage. We must do it our ways this time. Enough is enough. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? What do you think concerning what the Niger Delta guys are saying? Well, it is what it is. If the Niger Delta are saying that what they want is devolution of power and not what um, the Southeast and the Biafra are agitating for, then how that means both regions are asking for separate things. They are not as they are not one. And don't forget that Nam Kano has already um, carved or mentioned. The Niger Delta as part of Biafra in his analysis and in his reports to the United Nations and others. So it remains to be seen how Namdekano will carry out the or we will go about carrying along the Niger Delta guys in his agitation henceforth. Well, it's what it is. Let's take a few reactions and let's see what people are saying concerning this particular news story. Rejoice Joseph says, there's nothing you do with the evils. They are too greedy, arrogant, noisy, dubious. Bunch of fools claiming they are wiser than every other tribe. Some fools will insult their heads. Well, could this be true about the evils? Another says, Madam, please leave Biafra alone. Fight for yourself. As you said, Biafra is not a problem. It's not Biafra. That, is it not Biafra that kills Sarawiwa? Adakaburu and others, Biafra do not have oil wells in your region and give, your, and give you security to guide it for them. Biafra's never fought you one day. So please channel your anger to your oppressor. We need nothing from you, okay? We have oil in our region like you and we don't even depend on oil. We are hardworking and can excel in any way. So we don't need you even so be mindful and face your problem okay guys do you agree with this um, opinion well it is what it is the niger deltas are refusing to accept that they are minorities and um, wanting to have a stake or haven't have the same share the same stake with the Igbo brothers in the south east but will this happen? Will this happen? A lot of people are seeing the Niger Deltas as um, they are seeing them as minorities, but they are saying that no, they are not minorities. That they have what it takes to stand on their own as a region, and that, that there is no minority amongst them. For be that as it were, guys, are the Niger Deltas minorities in the real sense of it? Do you think that the Niger Deltas have what it takes to actually um, compete with other regions and stand strong numerically and otherwise? Well, it remains to be seen if that actually can happen. For be that as it were, now the kind of has, is yet to... To react to this um, development as it is or as it were but if biafra is actually given will the niger delta agree to be part of uh, biafra or will they recede from biafra it remains to be seen but with these claims and uh, opinions from different people it remains to be seen if the niger deltans will agree to be part of biafra and if they refuse to be part of biafra what becomes of their fate what becomes of their fate? Will they want to, will, will they be allowed to go their own separate ways? Will they be given their own um, region of freedom to be on their own? It remains to be seen. But it's what it is, guys. They have the resources, they have the capability, they have the oil and all what have you. 
so they can manage things for themselves but it remains to be seen if they would be allowed to be on their own well drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now